Hi, Charles Holman here from 8DO, and in this video I'll be demonstrating our dobro. The dobro is a classical American instrument, it sort of has that country twangy kind of feel, you can see a little bit of it here. Uh, I think it's the same instrument actually um, that's featured on, um, for anybody who's a little older in the crowd, on Mark Knopfler's uh, Brothers in Arms. Uh, there's a flying beautiful dobro on the cover of that album as well. Uh, anyway, uh, let me just um, briefly take you through the core UI here, the user interface, so you can get a feeling for what we're doing. We have three different presets here. We got the natural, we got a morphed and a synthesized. The natural one is more natural articulations with the dobro. We got a tenor and a piccolo and a sort of a white double that has a really wide sound. The morphed is where we take all the dobro patches but combine them with other instruments, um, a lot of custom stuff here. And synthesized where we use analog synthesizers and try to recreate the dobro with synthesis while playing the dobro samples on top of it. It gives some very interesting textures. Down here, you got our fret control. You can control both the volume and the randomization amount of the fret. We have a really beautiful way of doing that. Um, so you can really get that natural feel of all the finger noises. Here you got the release triggers. And down here, we have two new features. The first one is real bent. The thing about a dobro is that one of the most natural ways of playing to get that twangy sound is to bend the note. So we have real bend both up and down. And we got strumming as well. One of the requests we got when we did the mandolin uh, and the steel string is that people love to have strum features in the library. Obviously the dobro here, just as well as our mandolin and steel string comes in two different volumes. This volume here being the multi-sample volume, but we also have a strum edition, which contains over 4,000 dobro strums. But we've added strum to this part of the library as well, so you get a more natural feeling. You can actually do strum based playing with the multi-samples as well. But hey, words are cheap, let's just get right into it. Let me just um, play first here a little bit with the natural articulation. And as you could probably hear, there's a variety of different velocity layers. And obviously when we say deep sampling, it means that we recorded multiple velocity layers and multiple round robins per layer as well. Let me try to play, uh, let me just try another riff here. Um, this thing can really play fast as well, very expressive thing. It's kind of funny. Uh, I try to emulate a bend using a MIDI bend here. Let me uh, let me try to play a riff um, three times here. I, I'm just gonna play something first in straight keys. Then I'm gonna try to MIDI bend it using my fancy pitch bender, and then I'm gonna try to real bend it using our real bend technology as well. Uh, and then I'll tell a little more about what's going on. <laughs> So essentially the first version was just played straight, the second version was me using the pitch burn, and in the third one, I really clicked hard on the velocity, which triggers the bend note. The way it works is that you can, if you click a key really hard, it will bend the note from high to low, and if you move your mod wheel up, it'll do the opposite. Let me just try that. And when you start combining your normal playing with the real bends, you can do some fairly real sounding stuff. Let me also turn on the strum part here. Um, here you can see that there's some milliseconds here. I like it a little more than that. It's so probably around like 100, 90, 100. Um, this is the delay of the strums. So you get a more natural kind of feeling it. Let me try to play a little bit with the strum here and also try to combine it with the real bend. <laughs> Keep in mind, that's just me playing straight on the keyboard. Let me try another patch here. Let's try the white double. Um, the white double is a double dobro, so it's two different takes and it has a more wide sort of cool sound to it. Uh, let me play a little with the strum here as well. Let's move on here to the morph category. This is a metallic mesh. And again, in the morph category, we're taking different custom instruments and meshing them, blending them together with the, with the dobro. Um, this is the metallic mesh. It's kind of a steel-based instrument where we took steel string and another string instruments and put them in three layers of steelness.
and it's so easy. This is just me playing on the keys. One of the great features is that if you play the notes without overlapping, you don't get the strum effect, so you can play solo notes. Then again, if you play overlapping notes, you get the natural strum, and if you click hard, then you get the real bend, so you can really combine in different ways. Let me, uh, let me try this country steel here as another morph patch. This next patch here, the Dobriano, is probably one of my favorite patches in quite a while. Uh, we took an uh, old piano and mixed it with the Dobro, and it just has a fantastic emotional sound to it. Check it out. Isn't that just like preset perfection right there? I love it so much. Uh, let's try one more here, the White Heaven. To me, that sounds like the way a Kodo should really be sounding, like it's more full and its sound has more body to it, just delicious. Let me try this synthesized patch here, Melting Steel. <laughs> try another one here, the Fat Silk. This one has sort of a more pluck synthesizer sound combined with the Dobro. Let me just try one more here. This is the Tines of Passion. It's essentially like a DX7 almost like sound combined with the Dobro. It's just beautiful. It's almost hard to convey in a video like how playable this thing is, but this video is real time, so you can see these things played on the keyboard down here. Uh, you can really do the strums, the bends, the solo playing all together. It's kind of neat. Oh yeah, I'm down here in the yellow part. This is our effects section. You can essentially apply real time effects while you're playing as well. It's a little hard <laughs> unless you got a third hand, uh, but you can sequence it. Uh, we got all these different parts here. Obviously, we got more sort of effects type of convolutions. We got more natural reverbs here as well, and all that stuff. So I hope this made sense. This was the ATO Dobro solo. And again, there's also a counterpart to this, which is called the ATO Dobro Strummer, which is really more elaborate on the strum side. But you can, again, you can really do a lot with the, with the multi-samples here as well. But uh, I think this is it. My name was Trolls. This was the ATO Dobro. Thanks for listening.